crossing the, the zebra crossing at, or um, in, in your locality. So you, you might have um, noticed that some zebra crossings aren't particularly well designed um, and that they're badly placed. So if, if the, the, the rules of the crossing are unclear. So, so I, I don't know if you're like me, you walk to work and see bikes shooting through the, the crossings and um, they don't reduce speed at all um, and the, the types of the crossing aren't quite clear so some don't even have um, lamp posts around them they just basically cross and they've just got a raised curve um, so we've got all types of, of road crossings so what the aim of our scheme is to is to empower the pedestrian to offer suggestions um, let us know where they don't feel safe for example um, where where they've seen or heard that there's an accident hotspot. So, for example, you might um, avoid um, Elephant and Castle in London because um, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, well, let the uh, councillors know about it. So, this is what we're 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 being invited. <laughs> right, okay. so, what's your so, so the solution, the te technology solution, is what we're going to develop is a, a website um, that actually uh, can be masked, whether it's in the council, such as um, the branding, um, such as um, we've got examples in Fix My Street, um, we, we use currently. Um, we're gonna integrate sort of GIS technology, the sort of uh, Google Maps in there, um, because the, the problem we've got at the minute is um, locally we've got um, transport, um, carriageways which are managed by TfL and also the local authority and also private housing estates so what we think is that the way to get over this is to have a common platform um, we're going to name it safe, safer crossing um, so the, that was the general sort of um, brand that we've come up with um, the, the way we're going to make it um, sustainable is that we're going to use um, common platforms such as technology platforms uh, such as direct go at the back end. Um, the the streets are we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate that these streets are gonna improve. So, for example, um, uh, my, my colleague here um, on the table, she, she, she mentioned that in, in my in the borough where I work in, is it took a long time to implement a, a road traffic scheme, um, up to five or six years. Um, what we want to do is to reduce that time dramatically. Um, celebrate it so for example on, on the, um, the website we'll have a whole section about you said we did um, and we'll develop a case history so for example when you cl uh, click on the map um, you won't only see your um, your feedback so for example about a roundabout you'll also see what other people have put up there so we can start to build up a real image um, of, of hotspots and, and colour code code those against you know, criticality so the money can quickly be pumped into that area and something done about it. What we're also going to do is um, we were conscious that a lot of people um, they for example put all this information up there and they never hear anything about it so what we're going to do is we're going to link that with the councillors in the local, local authority because they have quite an impact at a universal level on um, getting you know, the bins collected on time. So we, we feel that they need to be empowered and it will also help them to engage with their um, surgery work, for example, in their locality. Um, so the people have a feedback mechanism and I think that through using workflow engines we can, and, a, and a clear process, we can resolve that. Um, so that's the sustainability bit. So we, the, the key elements around that are you said we did page and the um, involvement of council.